Presenting our next 2007 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Dan Lewis. Dan's presenter is Paul LeBlanc, one of his Fountain Valley High School teammates. I might also mention his coach was Wayne McCallion. Dan attended Fountain Valley High School. During his senior year, his record was 30-0 and with 23 pins, and he was a CIF Southern Section Champion. He also placed third at the high school nationals. Dan attended Orange Coast Community College, where he was a two-time All-American. In 1979, he was a national AAU champion, and he won the national Sambo Championship in 1978 and 1979. Dan placed eight times in the U.S. National Open, including being the National Open champion three times. He was also twice a member of the U.S. team to the World Championships. Dan was the Pan American Games champion in 1979, and in international tournaments he placed first in Hungary and Cuba. Dan was the assistant wrestling coach at Louisiana State for two years, before becoming the head wrestling coach at Cal State Fullerton, where he coached for 11 years. He moved to Colorado where he was the head coach at Colorado School of the Mines. He pr produced four national champions and ten All-Americans and his teams were also the All-Academic team four times. In 1996 his teams finished seventh in the national championships with two national champions and three All-Americans. He was also selected as the NCAA Wrestling Coach of the Year. Dan is presently the Associate Director of Athletics at the School of the Mines, and just recently it was announced that Dan has returned to coaching and will be the head wrestling coach next year at the Colorado School of Mines. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the California Hall of Fame, Mr. Dan Lewis. I'd like to uh, thank the uh, committee for their hard work in putting together this event tonight. What a wonderful event this is. I really appreciate the honor of being awarded this uh, outstanding award as well. I'd like to recognize my family that's here tonight. Uh, Aaron had to leave with their daughter, but uh, my son Daniel, my son Dylan, my daughter Serena is here, and my wife Megan. And Megan, of course, has helped in so many ways with the sport of wrestling. Uh, so many times uh, she's been a bit my biggest supporter for that type of thing. I've crossed off about seven paragraphs right here because uh, I keep, I keep, I know, I know that's a real good thing. But, um, I'd like to uh, talk about my coaches that uh, helped me so much in my high school career. Coach Wagner, who luckily, um, uh, was my government teacher and recruited me out of my government class my freshman year. In my freshman year I played football. I was a running back and a linebacker. I was a, uh, uh, competed in track through the shot and the discus and in basketball, if you can believe this, I was a starting center. <laughs> but so Cap Coach Wagner figured that that wasn't going to work for me in the future so uh, recruited me to wrestling luckily. And he was an outstanding coach. I learned so much from him. and. Uh, he taught fundamentals, expected discipline from his team, and always made sure that we were in great shape. Our assistant coach, as has been pointed out, is Coach McCallion. And not only was he an excellent, excellent role model and coach, he was my workout partner as well. We used to be the same weight class, but uh, <laughs> I've gained a few pounds since then. And then also Frank Corpel. He was our club coach, as Chris had pointed out so well early. He, uh, he did so much for so many young men, and uh, I appreciate what he did for me as well. And even though wrestling is an individual sport, being a part of a great team is, just makes you that much better of a wrestler. And our high school team had Chris Sones on it, Glenn Anderson, Bob Walker, and Paul LeBlanc, to name a few. And those individuals were just outstanding uh, teammates and role models for me as well. I learned so much from them as well. I coached at Cal State Fullerton and uh, took over that position in 1982 and probably the best dual meet that I, I can remember 
and we had quite a few, had a lot of good individuals, was against Oklahoma. We were one and two against them for the three previous years, and we were having the duel at, at Cal State Fullerton that particular night. It was a great turnout, great crowd, and we were winning all of our matches within the last 20 seconds or so. And um, we were down 18-15, and just before uh, the last match, I, I went back to David Jones, and he was our heavyweight, returning All-American. He's about my height, weighed about 255 pounds, solid muscle. And uh, I went up to David. I didn't want to say too much, because he was focused, he was ready to go. I said, David, we need a major decision. And I remember him looking at me real intense, like he's going to kick my tail. <laughs> he looked at me and says, is that all we need? <laughs> I said, yeah, that's all we need. So David went out, beat the guy 10-0. We beat Oklahoma at home, and uh, it was an exciting year. In that particular year, we were 13 and 8. We finished, uh, beat several top 20 teams, and uh, had seven wrestlers qualified for the nationals, and we finished top 25 in the NCAA championships that particular year. And I really felt that that was my best coaching job uh, in a dual meet situation. I do want to say, as Dennis pointed out earlier, this is a very close-knit group community, the wrestling community. And uh, I feel blessed to have been a part of this community over the years. Um, the community itself, the coaches, the, their spouses, the wrestlers, their parents, and the officials, in my opinion, they're all very hardworking, they're down to earth, and they're always willing to lend a hand, which uh, these type of qualities and in individuals I feel blessed to be a part of. Uh, again, I'm extremely honored by this award and uh, I appreciate it very much. Thank you.